with that done, from the lower half of the offcut, we can now do the arm panels, which will be uh, 21 inches and 26. <laughs> We have a couple more pieces to cut off of the main sheet, which will form the lip that goes along the chest seam. However, before we can do that, we need to make sure our measurements are correct. Now, I've calculated them by some very loose mathematics, but as ever, it is always a good idea to measure twice and then cut once. So what we're going to do is we'll take our two front pieces, which we have here, Make sure they're the right way around, which I believe that is. Doesn't matter which way over they are. We need to measure our 8 inch gap at the top and just line the pieces up. Now, my calculation was 38 inches. So, go ahead, measure it out. Okay, so that's 33 inches along the diagonal, add our 4 is 37, add the half inch seam, brings us up to 38. I'm pretty good. So now that I've verified the size of those pieces, I'm going to cut them out off from the bottom along here. The rest of this is all going to form the Hakama. And you might think that's a lot of spare material for the Hakama. The Hakama has a lot of pleats, and pleats means lots of extra material. sewing machine all set up, the first thing we need to do is stitch our two back panels together. In this case I'm going to make the fluffy dangly bit at the bottom the bottom. So put these face to face, stitch them up. Standard stuff. With that done we need to do the shoulder seam. Now this is another deviation from the plan on the website in that on their one they made the chest out of a single piece left and right that just goes over the shoulder without any seam whereas I've done this in four panels. What we need to do is obviously stitch this up as normal along here but in doing so this section will not be hemmed. So what we need to do is we need to fold this section back, hem onto the top of there, so that when the hem is complete, we'll have a neat and tidy shoulder. With that done, our next step is the neck band which means that we need to join these two pieces together. 